Give me a minute and we'll talk about more emergency landings by passenger jets inside of Russia. So today it was reported in TASS that a malfunction with the flaps caused an emergency landing of a Boeing 737 in Chelyabinsk. This was reported to TASS by the operational services. The plane was flying from Sochi with almost 190 people on board. Now, look. Let's be clear. The quasi-state agencies that operate these Western planes inside of Russia do not own them. They were stolen when the full-scale invasion happened and Boeing and others ended their support contracts in protest of the invasion. So you've got a rogue government Operating planes it has stolen without the support of the manufacturers, putting the lives of their own citizens at risk and trying to keep them in the air with third-party Chinese knockoff replacement parts. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Anybody who gets on a plane a commercial jetliner in, inside of Russia today is literally taking their lives in their hands. They're going to start to drop out of the sky. I mean, this is the seventh one in like three weeks now. This keeps happening. And it's going to keep happening. Because the people in charge do not care about the lives of the people in the planes. They care about the revenue. They care about squeezing the airline industry for every ruble they can get out of it at the lowest cost that they can get it. And if they don't have to pay or worry about safety or save, uh, con support contracts with Boeing or any of the basic fundamental things that any rational person that was taking human lives into their hands would be concerned about, Enough. They don't care. They do not care. So for all the self-flagellating Western apologists who are going to be like, oh, the sanctions are terrible for the Russian people. We're to blame for this. Fuck you. Stop it with that nonsense. Stop it with your nonsense. The people in Moscow are a criminal gang that flout international law and basic safety protocols who do not care about the lives of their people, and they put it on display every single day.